What's up, everyone? Welcome back to Right Man in the Wrong Place. My name is Luke Tatum, and I react to music. I am super excited to spend some more time with y'all checking out some new music. We are going to be doing a video game song again today, and this is another donation request. So the song is called Counter-Strike. It's from the soundtrack to Persona 5 Scramble the Phantom Strikers. I think that this is sometimes just abbreviated to Persona 5 Strikers, because that's kind of a long, cumbersome name. Um, that's how it was requested in the donation request. So Ryan Arsenault, if I got the wrong song, tell me and I'll record the right one. But I'm pretty sure this is it. I did a little bit of digging just to try to make sure. And so uh, this song, this is from the soundtrack to the game. The game came out in 2020 in Japan and 2021 worldwide. So 2020 is the release date or the release year. The composer is Gota Masuoka. And <laughs> I know you didn't know this whenever you made this donation request, but I actually just finished playing Persona 5 Royal. It's my first time playing a Persona game. So and actually my first time playing a Shin Megami Tensei game. So um, I just got into this. I know some of the characters and stuff, but I haven't played Strikers. I don't know what happens in the game. I understand it's uh, a combination of Dynasty Warriors and Persona, so that's kind of crazy. But yeah, I'm excited to hear this. I did just on an impulse look for lyrics to see if this was one of the songs that have lyrics, because I know that um, Persona 5 had a lot of songs with lyrics, and it was a hit. So I've got lyrics pulled up here for this song. Never heard it before. I'm excited to do that. Uh, oh, the the vocalist is Lin Inazumi, Inaizumi, the same as the song that I just did a reaction to the other day that y'all will have already seen by the time this one airs. So um, anyway, let's get this thing done. I'm going to hit play, and I'm super excited because Persona has an amazing, or Persona 5 had an amazing soundtrack. That is not what I expected at all. Oh my gosh, yeah. This is crazy. Um, really, really like what I'm hearing so far. Just cool instrumentation, cool use of this, the stereo space. Um, you know, Persona 5 Royal, very jazzy, very chill a lot of the time. Even some of the battle music is more like a feel-good song. Was not expecting the more guitar-centric kind of piece here. It's quite intense versus my expectation. Now, uh, Lynn's vocals, something I know from having played Persona 5, is uh, her vocals are uh, sometimes a little hard for me to follow, like as a primarily English speaker. Uh, English is my first language. I don't really have a second language. So, you know, it's a little tricky for me to, like, follow uh, what she's saying sometimes. That's why I have the lyrics pulled up. I'm also very curious, I'm trying not to read ahead on the lyrics, but I'm very curious if this is something that will describe gameplay, describe what's going on in the plot in the game in the same way that that was done in Persona 5 Royal. Um, I don't know. I, and I may not be able to recognize it because I haven't played the game and I don't know what happens, but <laughs> anyway, really awesome. This is this is great. Global slide, man, it's great. Welcome back to your castle. Oh my gosh. I'm gonna play this game. This 
this is great. This is crazy good. Um, so some of the lyrics there, you know, if you're having a hard time following like I am, so many melodies deep inside you, listen, your own rhythm is the one to go for. Come on now. Dance your own crazy style on and on as you like. Every time, a thin line, no limits, only new options. It's very inspiring. <laughs> I love it. I love it. Oh my goodness. Let's go. Okay, this is not really about the song here, but this reminds me of like the absolutely just mind blowing impact that music can have in a game if you if you go in without knowing what you're gonna experience. Uh, you know, so there's a wonderful game that I guess is part of the Alan Wake franchise in a, in a loose way called Control. I think that game came out in 2019 or something. Um, I just played that last year. Awesome. Totally awesome game. And music is used very, very well in those games. Okay. Um, but like, it's like horror music most of the game. It's very tense, you know, strings. It's building building, you know, the sense of like what's going to creep out from around the next corner and all that. And then there's this hard rock piece at kind of the climax of the story. And it just blows you away because it's not what you're expecting. And I mean, it's, it's perfect. Okay. That's kind of what I'm talking about here. I can just see myself playing this game. Whatever happens when this song is playing, it's just going to be like, oh my gosh, what a jam every time. But specifically what I'm thinking of is the very first time that I played Mystical Ninja starring Goemon on the Nintendo 64. If you haven't played that game, do yourself a favor. I don't care how you do it. I like emulation. Play that game not very far into it. I mean, the whole soundtrack is legendary. It's amazing. But that game on the N64 has like a, a famous... Japanese vocalists perform multiple songs. The the uh, title theme is sung. There's a scene where you have a giant robot fight, and it's the most random thing in the world. Go watch a video. I'll do a reaction to it or something. It's the best thing in the world. One person leaves a comment that they want to see Mystical Ninja starring Goemon on the N64, and we're doing it. The song is called I Am Impact. And when that came on for the first time, and really to a lesser extent, every time it comes on today, anytime I listen to that song, and I do listen to it all the time. <laughs> I can't believe I'm admitting to that on camera. Um, that song is just amazing. Okay, it's amazingly high production values. And you're just not expecting it. It comes out of nowhere. That whole scene in the game, it comes out of nowhere and it's like, oh my gosh, what is going on? Right? It's this whole like music video thing that happens when you when you do this this robot fight in the game. It's a ridiculously cool thing. And nobody's ever topped it. That's what I'm hearing right now. Man, this is great. This is amazing. I like excessively positive music. I like stuff like that. TWRP, I've only done one song by them, Starlight Brigade, but um, yeah, I'd love to do more. TWRP has this like excessively positive energy all the time. They're so fun to listen to. Like sometimes the world sucks. It doesn't mean the music you listen to has to suck. You don't need to dwell in it. You need to get pumped up and go out and conquer the world, right? That's what this song is. I love it. I'm going to stop talking and enjoy the song.
Okay, I'm sorry. I'm just having too much fun with this song. I'm going to back it up a little bit. It's 10 minutes long. I can't believe this. This is awesome. Um, so many sweet transitions. So much just like, like, you know, big band kind of hits here. It reminds me a little bit of the Casino Palace theme from Persona Royal, uh, just taken to the nth degree. Um, Ryan, like, I know I didn't totally jive with that Maximum the Hormone track. Like, it was fine. It was good. I enjoyed it for what it was. This is the complete opposite for me. This is amazing. Um, <laughs> and the enunciation, the way that uh, Lynn sings here and certain things, I, I really like that. And the other song that I've done a reaction to, um, Beneath the Mask, you'll see that. Uh, in the description box or, you know, the card in the end of this video. But uh, I really like the way that she kind of, you know, enunciates words in a non-predictable way. You don't expect the way that she's going to say, like, the word vivid, right? It's it's really cool. It's really, really cool. Kind of adds this, this foreignness to the song, for lack of a better term. I got to stop hitting pause. This is awesome. video game music it'll play two times most people do that on their uploads on youtube which let's do it man this is great i'm gonna listen to the whole thing again counter strike come on give it your all you've come a long way but let me just say faking is not as nice so counter strike and it all
Yeah, so welcome back to your own game show. There's a line right there. In a certain very loose way. This is kind of like Smash TV. <laughs> you ever played that game? Ryan, thank you. That was a blast. And now I absolutely have to play that game. Uh, I was thinking about going back and doing like Persona 4 or Persona 3 or maybe checking out one of the mainline Shin Megami Tensei games or something like that. I don't know. Maybe I have to stick with Persona 5, uh, 5 for a little while and, and check out some of the variants. I mean, I, I understand that they were going to have spinoffs because Persona 5 was so dang popular. Um there's so many Shin Megami Tensei games and spinoffs and all that. I, I really had no idea where to go next. So, hey, you made the decision for me. I really appreciate that. That was amazing. 
I um, did notice here second time through towards the end some of the lyrics, I'll never forget to show my true colors. I'll never forget to question destiny. I will be more than a puppet. I'll never be just a doll. And so I do get the sense that this is kind of talking about what's going on in the game. I kind of expected that. Uh, that's great. That's awesome. This is just, this is wild. So I don't know what else to say. You saw my face the whole time. I was having an absolute blast. I appreciate you watching, being here with me, listening to that killer track with me. And for now, I think I'm going to wrap this one up. If you have a donation request, be sure to check the link right over here, here, below my face. And you can make a donation request there. Um, no set price for donations. Just let me know kind of what you're looking for, and uh, we can work something out if we need to. Really appreciate you all being here, subscribing to the channel, liking the videos, leaving comments, letting me know what the heck I'm getting wrong all the time. It's all great. It's all good stuff. And thank you very much. Till next time, the right man in the wrong place can make all the difference in the world.